Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to make a particle Christmas tree in After Effects. Earlier in the week I uploaded a video to my channel wishing you all a very Merry Christmas and today I'll be showing you how to make the Christmas tree I used in it. To do this we're going to be using a plugin by Video Copilot called Particular. As well as that we're going to be using a little bit of Adobe Illustrator. If you don't have the program though, don't worry, there's a little present in the description which means you can completely skip this step. If you do choose to follow along though, what you're going to need is to open up a new project and we're going to be needing to draw a line to start with. So go ahead and go over to the line tool and just draw it from one side of the page to the other horizontally, holding down shift to snap it so it doesn't uh, skew in any way. It's perfectly straight. And what we're going to do with this line is twirl one of the ends and that's going to be our path. So go ahead and select the twirl tool. Uh, you can also hold down alt and click to go through these but I just held down and selected it. Once you've got this, go to one of the ends and just twirl away. If you uh, choose that it's not big enough, go back to twirl, double click and that'll bring up a little properties box. I'm going to make mine slightly bigger, just show you what happens and it does this. So like I said, go to one of the ends and just go ahead and hold down and click and that'll make this twirl. Now this is going to be used for a light to follow later on and it's going to be a Christmas tree shape. We've got some excess bits so we're going to get rid of them. To do that we just go ahead and click on them each point and just delete this one and this one and I'm also going to delete this one in the middle. So now we've got this perfect swirl and this will all become apparent why we need it later on. But to start with let's go over to After Effects and get started with the real good stuff. Now I've headed over to After Effects and as you can see I've already created a blank composition. To this we're going to want to add a null object and a light. So go ahead and go to layer at the top here, click new and null object and this is going to stay exactly as it is. Also add a light. Now to this light we want to go ahead and change the name to emitter. Be very careful to use a capital E and that is spelled correctly because uh, that's going to hold everything together later on. If you don't do that, things won't work. Now you'll notice they're in completely different positions and uh, we're going to want them in the same position so it might as well be centered with the null object. As that's correct, go ahead and go to the positions of the null object, copy that and just paste it onto the emitter and that'll snap into the same place, like so. Once you've done this, go over to the parenting and you want to parent the null object to the emitter using this lasso here like so and that just means when everything goes wrong in a second we can fix it nice and easy. So once you've done that you want to go back over to Adobe Illustrator and copy your swirl. Now if you didn't make a swirl go over to the description of the video now and copy something that looks like this. Whichever way you did it go ahead and paste it onto the position properties of the emitter. This will create a path for it to follow and it should look something like this. There's a slight possibility if you created the swirl yourself that once you paste it in it's going to be backwards. If this is the case go ahead and select them, right click, click keyframe assistant and time reverse keyframe and they'll just they'll go in the opposite direction um, like so. Now it isn't something I need so I'm going to go ahead and revert them back to what it is because I want them starting from the outside and working their way in. So here we go, I want them like this. So if yours isn't like this, go ahead and do that step. If it is, leave it as it is. As you can see though, when we pasted this all in, the emitter got moved over. So we're going to want to unlink that parent and create a new one. Now the opposite way round. So now the null is in charge. And with this null, we can move it about. And I've just done that off screen there. So we can move it to wherever we want and the emitter will follow. The main thing we want to do with this though is make it 3D. Once it's 3D, we want to move the x-axis, which is the first one on the orientation, or you can press W and move this red thing up here, uh, and just move it so it's at a 90 degree angle from its original position, or 270, exactly the same though, so it's fine. Um, like I said, you can move it down here if you want, I'll do exactly the same, but uh, there's no need, I've gone with this. Now you'll see it moves on this axis, like so which is fine, perfectly what we want. Also, we want to change the position of the Z axis, which is the blue one. And we want it to start at the bottom, and we want to create a keyframe 
then move to the end of our timeline and move it to the top. So it will do this. And if we play that through now, you'll notice it just slowly moves up, which is perfect. Um, I'm just going to quickly reposition this all again. So using the x-axis, I'm just going to move them over, copy that over and paste it onto the end one. So our Christmas tree is now in the middle of the screen. So that's something I messed up off camera. There we go. So that's perfect now. So the only thing left to do to this is add the actual particles. So create a new solid and I'm going to leave the name as it is. And I'm going to go over to the effects panel and type in particular. And that should be under the video copilot section. I'm going to drag and drop that on. Now once you're in the particular area, just go ahead and go to the emitter and the emitter type and change it to light. And because we named it emitter earlier, it should all translate and work perfectly. And there's our sparkles in their most basic form. And it's sort of a Christmas tree shape. It's got that triangular spiral type thing going on. But to refine these, uh, we're going to need to change some of the settings on some of these things. To start with, change the particle type to 300. I'm also going to change the velocity, change that uh, to 10 there. And all these, you can go through and change them if you want to create a different type of effect. But I'm just going to change this to 20 and I'm going to leave that as it is. And this one and the rest there. And then I'm going to go into particle. Now I want the particle to last a little bit longer, not too much, so go 5. And the size randomness I'm going to change. Um, it's about 50, I think. I'm going to do the same to the opacity over life. Now, these aren't set in stone. You can change them to however you think it looks best. This is just something I think looks quite nice. It's, it's what I did in the original video, so I'll, I'll stick to them. I'm also going to go into the physics. Now, I would recommend doing this. Um, it just holds them together a bit more, and that's to go into the air and the air resistance and turn it up to 0 0.5. It's not much, but it just stops them flying off as early. And it gives you this nice little look here, like so. And that's our tree. That's pretty much it. The only thing left to do is color it. You'll notice once the keyframes end though, everything sort of goes to hell. <laughs> um, now in mine, I, I just, I transitioned out of this. I just got rid of this and ended it there. You could fade out the particles and do something nice with them, make them spread, turn to snow maybe. Um, but for me, I just went over and created a solid and uh, I put in an optical flare. And I'll show you something cool, which I uh, I didn't do, but I could have. If you got into optical flares, if you've got this plugin, go ahead and click add. And uh, you wanna just go over to this little bit here and type in track light. Now this will track it all the way through. I only used it towards the end. But um, maybe you could do something with that, something cool. I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to do this though. I'm going to leave that out. What I'm going to do is just select everything and press Command Shift C or Control Shift C, remembering to move all attributes. And I'm going to just call this tree. Once I've got this, I'm going to just add a glow to it to start with. And I'll leave it for the uh, basic settings for now because time and all. Uh, and I'm going to also add a color vibrance to this. Now this is a free plug in this one and will be available in the description for download. This is a game video co-pilot and uh, green there as a default, which is kind of what we want. I'm going to change it slightly like so and uh, maybe some of these settings. I don't know. Um, you can play around with this. You might not want a green tree. You might want a nice red one or maybe yellow or something, but I'm going to stick with green and I'm not going to touch the glow. I also duplicated mine and on the bottom layer I added a Gaussian blur. This sort of adds to the glow a bit more like so and I also turned the top layer uh, to add to burn through some of those sparkles and that's basically it. That's uh, that's the nice particle tree effect. Um, pretty simple I'd say actually. Uh, the only disadvantage is if you don't have the uh, plugins but here it is and uh, there we go. I also added a bit of snow, obviously, a reflection. I did that by just flipping the uh, the composition. Here it is again. Here we go. So uh, that's that. Have a very Merry Christmas, though. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, be sure to comment below. And uh, there's also my Twitter in the description. And uh, thank you for watching. Merry Christmas. Once again, goodbye.
See you in the new year.